Well, tax-free weekend kicked off today across the Carolinas. Shoppers on both sides of the state line told News 13's Evan Donovan that you just saw there working hard why this weekend is such a crucial money saver. Hard to believe, but summer's drawing to an end, which means back to school. I really like school supply shopping, which a lot of my friends think is like really weird because I'm really excited to go back to school. Gabrielle's mom doesn't see it the same way. Normally, we don't come out for tax-free weekend because um, I've got four kids and it tends to be a little more stressful than productive. Paula Ginger's granddaughter Lainey is visiting from Georgia, one of 16 states with a tax-free weekend, but theirs isn't until next weekend. She starts school next Wednesday, so they start a little bit earlier than the kids around here, and so um, she came to visit strictly to go school shopping. They may not be the only ones willing to travel for tax-free shopping. This will be the last year for tax-free weekend in North Carolina because lawmakers say they're missing out on millions of dollars of revenue. But some people think that will only make the problem worse. Diana Rank says she'll travel to South Carolina next year to shop. A lot of people really rely on the tax-free weekend to get extra little bargains for school clothes shopping. I think it's a shame that they're going to do away with it. The weekend is popular with shoppers of all ages since many items qualify for the tax exemption. And even though kids may not be happy to go back to school. Um, not, I'm kind of excited, sort of, fish. <laughs> no matter what they're buying, parents are glad they can save a little money. Reporting in Greenville, Evan Donovan, News 13.